From the Tribune News Network, this is Newsbreak. I'm Kirk Smith. Thursday Stump Stories. The government said to complete the extension of the COVID-19 emergency orders in Parliament today as that tropical system, which was Fred, passes to the south of us and is not expected to be a problem. The Senate is scheduled to debate and pass the extension resolution by the end of the day. The House completed debate on it yesterday and passed it. No opposition support. Prime Minister Minutes closing the debate, announcing that the U.S. is donating a big supply of the Pfizer vaccine designated for younger persons and the first set about 128,000 doses is scheduled to arrive today. Also arriving today, the Bahamas Olympic team coming home from Tokyo. Gold medalists Stephen Gardner and Sean A. Miller-Uwebo get some good news. The government is going to pay them $40,000 each for winning those gold medals. Drivers may be getting more frustrated. Gas prices in the capital continue to go up. According to the Tribune's tracker, Esso gets another $0.07 cent increase on the gallon price, jumps to five twenty four. Rubitz gets another $0.10 cent increase, jumps to five twenty eight per gallon. Health officials still watching those coronavirus numbers, hoping they'll begin to come down. Tuesday's numbers show 96 new infections, most of them in the capital. More than 130 persons are in the hospital being treated, 16 of them in the ICU. Two additional deaths have been reported, both in the capital. The total is now 310. This is news break from the Tribune News Network. Vaccine centers are open again, and the call goes out again for persons to take the shot. Latest from the Pan American Health Organization, PAHO, which says it's very concerned about ongoing vaccine hesitancy, even in health care workers. 17 year old boy charged with murder in court yesterday in connection with the death of Rudolph Roberts back on August 4th. One man dead, another man in hospital following a shooting incident in Elizabeth Estates yesterday. Two males were standing outside when a small Japanese vehicle pulled up, a male exited, armed with a firearm and discharged a weapon in their direction, causing injuries to both males. Superintendent Chantel Porter telling the media what they know. That is the second fatal double shooting incident in the Capitol this week. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com. Now the Tribune's AccuWeather update, a service of insurance management, weather associated with what was Fred in the area through tomorrow. Partly sunny, showers are likely, ice in the upper 80s. 88 at Freeport, 89 in the capital, 89 at Matthew Town. Boaters should exercise caution. Windy conditions will develop in time. Low tide now, the next high around 1 this afternoon. Turning partly cloudy tonight, showers could be around. Lows from the upper 70s to low 80s. If you need additional weather information, check the Tribune's weather page. For your insurance needs, call Insurance Management. This is the peak of the hurricane season. Insurance Management urges you to double-check your preparations and ensure that your home and contents coverage is up to date. Call them today. With more than 40 years in business, nobody does it better than insurance management. This is News Break from the Tribune News Network. Let's get the weekend started. The weekend, published every Friday in the Tribune, has the hottest news in fashion, music tips, the who's who on the red carpet, your must-try restaurants and hotspots, and of course, what to wear when you step out. Catch up on the latest film reviews or be thrilled with exciting tales from Bahamian history. There's only one place to find everything you need to plan your perfect weekend in Friday's Tribune. Pick up your copy of the weekend every Friday. The Tribune, the people's paper, biggest and best. Thursday's World News headlines, the Delta variant of the coronavirus continues to cause problems around the world and uncertainty. Australia has found new cases now and is putting lockdowns in place in several areas. New Zealand says now it will not open its borders to the world until next year because of the threat. The spread continues in the U.S. while the fight over mask mandates continues. More wildfires. Italy is the latest European country to be hit by fires. More than 60 persons have died from the fires that broke out recently in Algeria. Tribune's gas tracker prices shell 513. Esso is at 524 now. Ruiz is $5.28 per gallon in the capital. Now your sports notes brought to you by the Tribune Sports Section. Team Bahamas coming home today from the Olympic Games. Tribune Sports will have coverage. There's a preview of the under-20 track and field team heading for Nairobi in Kenya this weekend. 
Get the latest on Major League Baseball, the latest NBA news. They have the Summer League going on now. There's NFL and soccer news in the Tribune Sports Thursday. For all your sports details, you want to check the Tribune Sports section. Everything you need from the world of sports, you'll find in the Tribune Sports. And that's your news break. Details of the day's top stories. In the Tribune newspaper, on the streets first thing in the morning, stay up to date online at tribune242.com. 